here. What's but going building? back, going back, like a, a not a full monastery, but a um, what, what do they call that? A cut off from a monastery where there was monks in prayer state. That's the connection. So there was a monastery that these people, these monks, were attached to, but they were here separate for a reason, away from the main monastery. How do you fancy turning the lights off? Love it. OK, should turn the lights off? Yeah, Love it. Let's go. Yeah. 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 With the lights off, we decided to go upstairs into the middle bedroom. This is the room where ghostly figures are seen on a regular basis, and it's a room that I didn't like. See, now, I'm very aware, um, at times, um, during the day and the evening, um, of childishness and child play um, feelings of uh, laughing and giggling um, and uh, a hive of activity of three children I feel a wonderful band of two little girls and a little boy. Um, the little boy, a bit of a scallywag. Mm. I feel um, mm. from the time that they go back from or to, they would have had to, for some reason, um, fend for themselves. And I feel there's a, so much the strong link with this particular individual monk that in actual fact they went to him and I feel that the tenderness of his heart, he fed these children. And this is why there's an akin ship to him. And yet earlier I felt as if it was from a different time, and it's not. Both interlinking at the same time. So, you know, I can get things slightly wrong until I come into the atmosphere. You see, the energy, this monk is listening right now, of it, Jason, to this conversation. And yet... Yeah, he's. Why? I don't like it. He's listening, and you don't like it. No. I also feel, maybe in a previous owners, not the actual owner today, but the previous owners would have felt that there was poltergeistal activity here. Through their ignorance, um, kindred ig ignorance, um, they would have mistaken the the children's playfulness and their energy, collectively, three of them, if they were going together, running through and what have you, they would most definitely, most definitely cause um, individual items to probably either crash, fall, which would probably then give the, the fright of mm. Almighty to the residents here. You see, the knocking of doors and noises are most definitely attributed to the children. Playfulness, mm not poltergeistal, anything like that. Now, where the monk is concerned, he's such a, you won't mind me saying it, a quiet sort of man, quiet disposition. It, I feel he has been seen, he should have been seen, but his conditions most definitely favour the main bedroom in this building. Like the master bedroom? Yeah. Shall we go there? Yeah. Very interesting because... On the way to the main bedroom, Derek was picking up on the children again, and they seemed to know about some of the strange activities in the house. Be interesting, could you check, please, also about the electricity here in the building, because it went all haywire, and the children are very aware of it. OK, they want to give proof that they are aware of the electricity and the problems that they've had here, and they're very aware of it. They congregate. This is his energy field. He was a far reaching in his thoughts, far beyond any monk of his day. That's why he was uh, designated here with a group of monks, um, most definitely linked to the main conditions in Chorley. And you know, he was such a kindred soul, this man, and especially where children were concerned. Um, Thomas Michael. Thomas Michael. Um, oh, look, he goes to that old cove there. He really believes in that. What, what's in that old cove? Can I just have a look? Okay. There's something behind there. 
There's something behind there. Blocked. What was behind there? Between there and the loo, this is where Thomas used to, quite regular, go down on his knees into his own personal prayer state. And he, um... He was against the witchcraft, okay. Oh God, is that went on here as well. Um, in this area, very strong, not in this dwelling, but in this area, um, there was a, a very, very high uh, incidence uh, at his time um, of conditions of a, uh, a negative, um, dark uh, practice in witchcraft. Um, and in those times, there was a number of females um, that were actually um, late to slaughter because of um, being um, classified as witches. These three children were protected by Thomas Michael. No harm come to him, to those, especially the boy, for some reason, that the impediment was um, uh, caused by um, an elder who um, damaged the boy. Um, Spiked his leg in actual fact after he was stealing food, but Thomas uh, mended that leg. Bless him. He was very spiritual, this man. He still is. Very kind, kindred soul. I feel that the cat, um, the cat that is presently here, um, is from the links of their time, reincarnated, um, and has found his way. Uh, of his age, the cat, thank you Sam, physically is seven years of age, comes from a home that has got 14 on its front door, that is local, though not too far away. He's lost his way, but people say he's lost his way, but he hasn't. He's found his way to the children, especially to Anthony. That's Thomas. Ask Thomas to do something, Sam. I felt something on Ask there. Thomas to do something Just right now, please. Something on the bed. Oh, Where about? Here behind me, like a tiny little thump down that side of me. Do you see? This is, um, this room is active at times. There's no... Do you like door on it? Do you come on now? Do it to me. <laughs> oh, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't that, it was not like somebody sitting there. No, I don't there. Mean, what was it? Like, it's like, it's like, it was like... On you or no, on no, the bed? No, no, on the bed. It was like... Like a mm. depression or something? But only small. Press the bed. Only small. This in here, you know that? Mm. This bathroom mm. here? Okay, very strongly, for some reason, is where I felt like the, um, the covering and the hood was placed over my head, and um, he, you see, he was n nowhere near as tall as me, um, and not a heavy set person, but I, I felt the sincerity. I mean, some people can pray, and they mean nothing, and some people pray with sincerity, and this man was nothing but goodness. Nothing but goodness, um, personified, if you like. But you know, the, it's a healthy, a very healthy atmosphere. This is why these children um, are so loving being here. Um, why don't I like that room then? Pardon? Why don't I like that room? <sighs> Surely you can answer that question. Do you feel uncomfortable? In it? Is it? Does it? Give you some sort of fear. I, I just I can't explain it. I just don't feel I don't feel right in there. It doesn't have an effect on me at all. No, it makes mm. me feel uncomfortable. Did it make you feel uncomfortable, Carl? Yeah, I did earlier yeah. when we first came here. Yeah, I went into that room, not knowing that what you know anything had gone on mm. in any specific rooms. But I I, I did yeah. say I felt uncomfortable, quite depressed in there. When I was talking earlier on about the black um, links with the witchcraft mm -hmm. and what have you. Um, that is really um, null and void uh, in, in its energy.